My name is Kevin Allen Lamb. I am the dictator of diction at Shaggy Lamb Productions, where words are our way. I will now be reading, For what and whom will you not die, but live for? I began this piece with a quote. If we do not use our power for good, then we are no better than the evil we wish to oppose. Power bestowed down by the Almighty Father to further humanity's struggle and scour that worsens by the hour if those with the means do not plant seeds of goodwill and will them to flower. In the earth, in death, it is revealed what we're worth, those we didn't help rather cursed, convincing lies we rehearsed, and the love for our brethren we let disperse. For what and whom have we let goodness slip away? When a man made of evil dies, an evil man he lies, bearing witness to perception through ice-cold eyes. Good in a man grows, like water in the Niagara Falls flows. Without deterrent, love and electricity made current, evil is a derivation of a deprived accountability for our mistakes and shortcomings. We as a people will scapegoat our breaths away until the last victim child of genocide stops running. We are not failing anyone other than ourselves and our dreams, the child that never learns to read, and a thousand more that wither and waste away because of our greed they do not feed. Please refrain from telling me what it is you need, while the once life-filled turned lifeless bleed into our rivers and earth, wearing the scarlet letter of we the cursed. Refrain from singing me your song of misappropriated misery because of the dreams you are too lazy to create and make be. Refrain your sufferings from insufficient somethings, somebodies, and some days that never came to pass because of a life lived on your ass, mind in a cast, and heart in a dollar bill that could never quite fill the empty landfill and the place of your heart because you neglected those in need from the start and continued running from your inadequate past. Misery is the only American dream I know to last. We are falling to pieces without the hindsight of ananoresis, and we'll all be the victims if we don't embrace the beauty and necessity that peace is. If we are unable to donate a piece of ourselves and rewrite the ending to the story of how mankind fell, to tell of an uprising that uplifted spirits to no longer fear us, but gravitate near us. For with us there is a will, and with a will there is a way, and in prayer there is an indicated foreshadowing of hope, and in hope there may be escaping the sight of even the most accurate scope, but hope is not if we are not, and we'll not be unless we take our share of responsibility in all misery in this world and the next. Please visit KevinAllenLamb.com.